What's up squad? Welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. I'm glad you're here. Today I have another top five magic review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at my top five pencil through bill illusions. I can't believe we're already up to video number 11 in this series and it went by so quickly. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to those people that constantly send me emails and comments and feedback on this review channel. Recently, I actually got an email that really made me laugh where somebody was thanking me for not being simply an unboxer. Uh, they were referring to magic review channels where people are supplied magic by big magic companies. They unbox it and throw together a review without any real world experience. They never demo the effects because they probably can't even perform them themselves. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, what you can expect to find here are comprehensive analytical reviews where I review magic that I purchased myself and try to give you guys the best and most honest feedback of it to give you a good idea of what you could expect if you were to buy it yourself so you don't waste your money. There are no big magic companies supplying me magic so you don't have to worry. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything here. So the criteria I used for this top five magic review is the following. All of these effects are pencil through bill. All of these effects, the pencil and the bill can be borrowed. All of these effects, when you end, the pencil and the bill can be examined. And finally, all of these effects had to be crazy visual. That was the criteria that I set out for myself to do this. Most of this stuff is impromptu in nature, and most of this stuff is stuff that you really should probably consider yourself. Now, I've been performing the pencil through bill illusion in one capacity or another for literally almost 20 years. That's 20 years of road testing and performing all the time. So I feel that I really am credible and that I can really give you guys a good review on this plot. So as always, I'm gonna start first with a couple of notable mentions and then we're gonna get into a list of top five. So these notable mentions are all excellent effects, but they did not make my top five list because either the pencil or the bill weren't borrowed objects or maybe it wasn't even a pencil. So the first one is called Sharpie Through Bill by Alan Rorison. And if you can imagine that you have a Sharpie in play, maybe you have people signing some playing cards, you're doing some card magic, and then you ask somebody for a bill. You wrap the bill around the Sharpie, and then you visually melt the Sharpie through the bill. This is beginner level, it's really easy to perform, and it's very visual. Now all you have to do is prepare your Sharpie marker, and you're ready to go. You can use any Sharpie marker that you want, and what I've done is I'll have a Sharpie marker that's prepared and sometimes I don't even use it for that. But it's nice to have that with you so when you want to, you can use it in that way. Especially if you want to start doing some magic that involves any type of bill, then that's a good way to introduce it. Uh, the second notable mention goes to Penguin Magic and Oz Perlman and their effect Stealth Pen. Now the Stealth Pen and its many different versions that exist out there on the magic market is an excellent pen through bill illusion. Now the reason this didn't make my top five list was because you're not borrowing the pen, it's your pen. That being said, you can hand it out to be examined at the end of the routine, which is always nice. Now I will say that lay people in general have become more smart to the pen through bill illusion. And I think it's just because they've seen it so many times with the stealth pen type gimmick that they kind of have an idea of how it works already. It's still an excellent effect. I've gotten really good reactions from it and I used to carry my stealth pen with me everywhere I went. I stopped kind of carrying it with me because I was afraid I was gonna lose it, but it used to be an effect that it was like a go-to effect of mine that I would do all the time. So I recommend you check it out if you're not familiar with it. Finally, the last notable mention goes to Peter Egging and his effect, Artificial Experience 2.0. Now the effect is extremely visual and really simple. You introduce a bill to the spectator and you ask them for um, a pencil. You get the pencil and you say to them, look, check this out. I'm gonna put the pencil in the bill, just like this, and you're simply gonna just push it right through the bill, like that. And it has a nice auditory illusion. It's really, this is really convincing how you show them like this, and you pull the pencil all the way through it. You open up the bill to show them that there is literally no hole whatsoever in the bill. 
very, very nice illusion. The only catch, of course, is that the bill has to be yours. So if you want to play it like you're using their bill, you're going to have to switch it. And the way that I've done this for years is this, is that I would ask them for a bill and then I would ask them for a pencil. And while they're looking for the pencil, I would simply do the switch. At the end of the effect, to switch it back, it's so simple. I would simply just put the bill in the same pocket where theirs was and say, hey, thanks for the dollar. And then be like, no, 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 I'm just kidding. And then take it out and give, give them their dollar back. So it's really easy actually to do the switch, but this didn't make my list of top five effects because the bill is really your bill. Um, the only other thing you may need to know about is that there is a little bit of arts and crafts work involved but it's like a one-time setup and it's really not that difficult to do. And you can see how visual the effect is. It's crazy visual. It's literally beginner level to perform. There is actually also a second phase if you are interested. So those are my notable mentions for Pencil Through Bill Illusion. All right, so let's get into my list of top five pencil through bill illusions. So these are my own opinion. You may not agree with me. And if you don't, please just leave me a comment below telling me why and what you recommend instead. I've compiled this list from books, videos, and standalone effects. Um, all of these effects meet my criteria that the pencil and the bill could be borrowed, they're visual in nature, and that you can immediately hand out the pencil in the bill at the end. I've organized these in terms of least to most favorite, although I like all of the effects obviously, so I would recommend any and all of these effects to you guys. Starting with number five, we have an effect which is called Bill Tear Illusion by Kuniyasa Fujiwara. Now this effect that I've been performing for almost eight years now can be found in the book Japan Ingenious uh, by Stephen Cohen and Richard Kaufman. The effect is completely impromptu in nature. It has a nice auditory component to it. It's very visual. Everything can be immediately handed out. You don't need anything with you to perform the effect. You literally can perform it with everything borrowed. It just uses some sneaky sleight of hand. In terms of difficulty, I would say it's like advanced beginner. It's really not difficult at all. And for me personally, for a time, this was like old faithful. I would go to this effect when somebody wanted to see something and I had nothing with me. This was the effect that I would do because it was crazy visual, got some really good reactions. I would highly recommend it to you guys. In fact, let me demo it for you in my own hands. All right, here's a quick demo of Bill Tear Illusion and you're gonna see why I have dubbed this effect Old Faithful. Uh, you ask for a bill, any bill, the higher the denomination, the better, of course. You ask for a pencil. You put the pencil in front of the bill and you show the spectator this image. You say, look, if we fold this up, now there is no way that this pencil can come out through the bottom because it's folded over just like that. And in a very similar way, if we fold the top down, then look at this. There's no way for that pencil to come out through the top either because it's folded over. So we're gonna take the pencil and the bill like this, and I'm just gonna give it a little pull. Ooh, you heard that. Ooh, well, if I go like this and use a little bit of magic, I can heal the bill. So there's no rip, no tear. It is the perfect impromptu, anywhere, anytime effect. And that's why I call it Old Faithful. This is number five on my list of top five pencil through bill effects. So moving along to number four, we have an effect by Ben Morris Rains called Impromptu Bill Penetration. And you can find this on his video through and through where he shows you how to do an impromptu version that has a nice auditory component to it, crazy visual. I think he uses a pen in his actual instruction, but you can do at least the first phase with just a pencil. And I really like the auditory component of it is really convincing. Um, and it's really nice that this is completely impromptu. You borrow the objects, there's no gimmicks in play. In terms of difficulty, I would say it's probably intermediate in terms of difficulty, but otherwise it's not that hard to perform overall. I've had really good reactions with it. Moving along to my number three pick for top five pencil through bill illusions, we have Jay Sankey's effect, Doe. Now I originally learned the effect in his book, 100% Sankey. I've been performing the effect for close to 15 years now. The effect was reprinted in the definitive Sankey set. I think it was volume three. And in there, Wayne Hoochin endorsed it as one of his 
top 10 favorites of Jay Sankey. And I can see why, especially because of the extra convincers and the visual nature of the effect. To perform it, all you need is a couple of little mini post-its and that's it. You'll find yourself carrying these just to perform this effect. I love the presentation, how Jay asked the spectator if they know why they call money dough and you ball up the, the, the bill like as if it was dough in itself. You place the post-it note on the middle of the bill. You can have the spectator even sign their name on that post-it note if you want them to, that is. And, and you fold up the bill uh, in half and you take the pencil. And what you're gonna simply do is this, you just put the pencil inside the, the fold of the bill and you pop it through. I love this uh, visual show here, how the pencil is going through the bill, through the post-it note. You can actually pull it through. And I really love this convincer of how you can look at your spectator through the hole. They can see that it's clearly going through there. And then in the next moment, you just do this little thing where you say, oh look, we're just gonna ball up the bill into dough and we're gonna knead the dough. You can hand this out to them so they can see there really is a hole there. And then when you open up the bill, you can say, look, we've healed the hole because just like dough, you can just mend it back together. And that's excellent. It really is a nice little effect. And this is number three on my list. Moving along to my number two pick for top five pencil through bill illusions, and that goes to Kenichi Kuroki in his effect, or Gambit. You can find the effect in the book called Square One. Now, I got this book as an extra, as a bonus, when I uh, subscribed to Magic Magazine. And it's a nice little tiny book, and um, it's probably one reason why I still have it, because it's so little. And on page 13, you can find the effect there. Now, this effect is actually an improvement on an old effect that you can find in Apocalypse. So if you have Apocalypse, and this is volume six to 10, if you go to page 1036, you're gonna find an effect called the invisible hole. Well, this version of the effect is an improvement on the original. It is impromptu in nature. All you have to have is a piece of construction paper with you. You can borrow the bill. You can borrow the pencil. You can also do it with a pen if you want to. And the really nice thing about this version of the effect is that you have the spectator help you push the pencil or the pen through the bill and the construction paper. It's really nice illusion. They're gonna get that tactile illusion of them pushing it through and they're gonna swear that it really went through, which is really the best part about it all. I like to let them push it through and pull it through the other end, and then you immediately hand out everything. You can leave them with everything. It's an excellent effect, and this is why this is my number two pick, because of that spectator involvement and the huge reactions that I've gotten with this over the years. I'm actually gonna show you guys a demo of the effect in my own hands so you can see what it looks like. Let's take a look at it. A quick illusion for you using a dollar bill, then this can be a borrowed bill. The only thing that you need to make sure is it doesn't have a hole in it. Um, and you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold it in half like this uh, lengthwise. And then you're gonna get yourself, um, this is a piece of construction paper that I've folded up just so it will fit inside there. And the reason for this is that this will isolate um, the bill inside of there, just like that. So this way you can see the bill on both sides. And um, if I turn it around, you can see it here. You can see how it's being held inside there. And um, that's pretty much it. When you're ready to go, you need to get a pen or a pencil, uh, whatever your preference is. In this case, I'm just gonna be using uh, this pen. What you wanna do is this, you wanna make sure you put it inside here because this, this, the, this is the place where it's gotta go, right inside. And you wanna hold there, um, you'll hold the ends while the person pushes, your spectator. And so they'll push right through the bill and through uh, the paper. And that, um, it's pretty crazy because um, you're going through all of this. Um, there you go, so you're going through layers of bill and uh, paper. And so they'll pull this, all, I usually just let them pull it all the way through, just like that. And then when they're done doing that, um, all, all that's left to do here is to open it up and to find that the bill does not have any kind of damage to it, which is really strange because when we move the bill, 
you could see right behind it, there's a huge hole where you stabbed it. Although the dollar bill itself is perfect, just like when you started. That's the illusion. All right, so finally, my number one pick for pencil through bill illusion goes to Timothy Wenk and his effect, Misled. Now, this effect is the most visually convincing pencil through bill effect that I know. This was actually performed by David Copperfield on TV, and when you buy it, you're gonna get a gimmick and you're gonna get a little pamphlet like this, which is gonna teach you how to do the two-phase routine. You're also gonna get here a limited warranty in case your gimmick breaks. The really nice thing about the effect and routine is that you can borrow the pencil as long as it's a standard pencil. You can borrow a, pe a bill. You could immediately perform this within inches from your spectator and it's gonna to totally convince them that you really have impaled that bill. As soon as you're done, you can hand everything back to them. They can examine everything. They will never figure it out. Uh, difficulty wise, I would say it's like advanced beginner level difficulty. It's not difficult at all. I've only gotten really strong reactions from it. And if you're not familiar with this plot, you definitely need to take a look at this because this definitely is worth picking up. In fact, if mine breaks, I'm immediately buying another one. That's how much I like it. In fact, I'm gonna demo it for you guys to show you what it looks like in my own hands so you can see how easy this is to perform, how convincing it looks. Let's take a look at it. Got something for you with a pencil and a bill. That's all you need. I'm using here a $20 bill. You can use any denomination that you want. What you wanna do is you wanna just fold it in half and uh, put the pencil relatively in the middle like this, okay? And just keep your eye right here on the middle, okay? We're gonna take the pencil, put it back inside. Now watch carefully as I just poke it right through. So now you got a pencil going through and I know you probably don't believe me, so I'm actually gonna show it to you. You can see that the pencil really, it really is going through the bill like this. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll hear it as it rips right through the bill. Now, if I could do magic, I could do this and I could heal the bill. No longer have a ripped bill, no hole, no tear, nothing. It's the mystery of the pencil and the bill. All right, squad, that's my list of top five pencil through bill illusions. I hope that you guys got something out of that. I hope there's something there that maybe piqued your interest in this plot, in this type of effect. And I really urge you to take a look at this if you don't already do some type of pencil through bill illusion. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave them below. Thanks so much for tuning into my magic reviews, and I'll see you guys on the next review.